What's good, guys? This is your boy Black Lightning for the five forty seven up in the John. And today, um, the uh, the Firelight MP twenty four is finally making a comeback. Um, you haven't, you guys haven't seen the video of this thing for months now. Um, it's still here, obviously. I never got rid of it since it's a little bit special to me. Um, since it's basically my first panel I ever owned. Uh, I just had the circuit board and uh, nothing else. And I had the transformer nor the case for it. And I finally found the things. And so we finally have a fully completed Firelight MP24. Um, so, yeah. The only trouble is the battery trouble. Um, I did verify that. Um, all the zones are good. All the NACs are good. So, yeah. And also, I finally got a three-prong uh, AC cord. So now we're on Ratchet Grounded. And we're actually on the safer side, finally. Um, I've been using that two-prong AC cord for the longest time, and that's a little bit unsafe. So, But finally, um, we're on the safer side. So, Anyways, let's go over devices. So for my detectors today, we have my uh, Hochiki SIF um, 24Fs, smoke detectors, on my Simplex 298-9211 bases. Um, the same bases the 298-9201 detectors take. Um, like I said, uh, these bases and those bases are the same, so you can just swap the heads on them, and they'll work fine. So as you can see, we got the LEDs blinking; they working properly. And these are ionization smoke detectors. So yeah, they're a little bit older. For my pull stations today, we have my um, my Super Sprintronics um, MS five hundred ones. Uh, dual action um, pull stations. Um, love these things. Um, real heavy duty. These are actually real, a little bit harder to pull. And um, yeah, I just love the dual action aspect of it. And uh, they look pretty nice. So, for our niche, uh, not initiating devices, we just went over there. For our notification appliances, we have Willock NSs. Um, the bottom one is my four wire fixed candela NS4 24 1575W. And then on the top, we have my two wire multi candela NS 24MCW. So these will be synced due to my Wheelock um, DSM module, my uh, dual synchronization module, and um, by Wheelock. And uh, this switch will cut the power to the audible circuit on that module and, and that will get our audible silence and both of these are doing code 3 low volume so yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and hit a pull station first and if you have epilepsy um do not watch but these strokes will be in sync and do not pull any alarms unless there's a real emergency in the building i'm not responsible for your actions so without further ado uh, I believe that the left side is zone two, right side is zone one. Might have mixed that up, but we'll see. But let's go ahead and hit the pull station first. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this one first. And we just cut um, power to the audible circuit on the uh, sync module, so therefore we have an audible silence. Uh, like I said, fifteen seventy-five, and I believe this. Yep, this is set on fifteen candela. So, yep. So let's go ahead and reset the pull station. Hey, spring reel action. Oh yeah, I was actually see the inside real quick so I can show you the inside. There we go, MS501. It is spring loaded, obviously, and there's a button right there. So let's go ahead and reset this, John. Um, with a, I'm using a star screwdriver, but you can also use an Allen wrench. There's that. 
So without further ado, let's go ahead and reset the system. Hold that real quick. Flip that back down. And let's go ahead and uh, test out a smoke detector. Got my handy dandy smoke tester. Give it a couple shakes. Here we go. Wheelock um, synchronization protocol actually takes a little bit longer to um, silence. I can see, I don't know if you guys heard the rhythm change of the sync module um, when I cut the power to the audible circuit. And um, it basically, that's how it, uh, you get your audible silence because it actually pulses a little bit differently to make the horn stop but keep the strobes flashing. So it's really nice. So let's go ahead and blow this detector out real quick. Hopefully that John don't go in back in the alarm. There she goes. And without further ado, let's go ahead and reset the system. And um, now if I keep that switch on and just activate it. It will ring twice, but uh, it would um, silence. Because, like I said, the Wheelox uh, synchronization protocol takes a little bit longer to um, to silence the horns. As I mentioned earlier, the the rhythm of that sync module changes, so we actually get our audible silence, and that's also on zone one. So, without further ado, was call that. A test and call it a day. Um, I will rename this series just the Firelight MP24 test. I will not be calling it newest demonstration board, and you know, that's a little bit long. And yeah, so I'm gonna uh, go to the previous videos of this panel of this board and I'll just call it the MP24 test, whatever number. So this is test six, but um, yeah, that's what it's gonna be called from now on. So Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this test. It's your boy, Black Lightning, for the 547, and I'm out this, John.